Hi again, everybody. It is Victor King from Mark Lawrence's PlaybookSports.com. I am the over-under guy here at Playbook. A little bit about myself before we get into our NFL preseason week one review and week two preview. Again, I've been with Mark Lawrence Playbook since way back in the summer of 1999. I answered an ad in the Northeastern Ohio newspaper that was looking for a sports journalist. It turned out to be from one of my favorite betting publications. That ad was from Playbook. I signed aboard in the summer of 1999 and have now been with the um, Playbook family for 25 years. I'm going on my 26th year here in 2024. And a very, very smart mentor by the name of Mark Lawrence told me a long time ago, find what you love to do in this business and then stay in your lane. For me, I've always been fascinated with NFL over-unders. In fact, back in 2005, I created a publication for Playbook for NFL over-under wagering called the Playbook Totals Tip Sheet Newsletter. This season will be our 18th season of the Totals Tip Sheet Newsletter. It is the only publication in America today devoted exclusively to NFL over-under wagering. We do a weekly newsletter. It is available each week at playbooksports.com, or you can call us at 1-800-PLAYBOOK to get on board for your full season subscription of the Playbook Totals Tip Sheet Newsletter. And again, if you haven't received issue number one of the Playbook Newsletter, you're going to also want to check this out, also available by calling 1-800-PLAYBOOK and at our website, playbooksports.com. This is issue number one. It is a 24-page issue. It covers the entire four-week period of the NFL preseason. It is required reading if you are going to be profiting during the NFL preseason. Again, check it out at playbooksports.com for our playbook football newsletter. So while we are at it, let's talk about the NFL preseason. Okay, last week in week one, if you were an underdog better, you did pretty good as underdogs went 10 and 6 against the spread, 63%. Uh, they even went 9 and 8 straight up. A very good week for underdogs in week one of the NFL preseason. Obviously, we are concerning ourselves with over-under results, and it was a very, very low-scoring first week in the NFL. If you are an under-better, you had a very, very good week. Last week in the NFL, only four out of the 16 games ended up going over the total. 12 games ended up going under the total. 75% of all games went under the total last week in preseason week one action. The average over-under line was 37.4 points per game. Average combined points last weekend, only 32.8. The average NFL game ended up going under the total by 4.6 points per game. A low-scoring start to the 2024 season. We'll see what happens in NFL preseason Week number two, and while we got a minute or two, let me get into our playbook preseason newsletter, and we'll run through some of the better teams in regards to over-under results in their second game of the preseason. Good over teams in their second week. New York Giants have gone a perfect 4-0 and to the over. That's four overs. Zero unders in their second game of the preseason. 51.0 combined points per game for the Giants. The Eagles, also a perfect 4-0 to the over in game two. 50.2 combined points per game. Miami Dolphins, in their last three preseason game twos, have gone a perfect 3-0 to the over with a combined 54.0 points per game. This is a team that you want to potentially take a look at 
as uh, they uh, ride into the second week of the preseason. The Las Vegas Raiders have been a very good over team in their second preseason game. They've gone 11-2-1, 11 overs, 2 unders, 46.2 points per game. Detroit has gone 5-1 and one to the over in game twos. And then you got a trio of teams that have gone 3-1 and one to the over, three overs, one under in their game twos, those three teams being Cincinnati, Indianapolis, and Baltimore. Now, a quick look at some of the better under teams in the second week of the season. The Cleveland Browns have gone 1-7 and seven over under, only 31.5 combined points per game. Seattle also one and seven to the under. That means in each of their last eight preseason game twos, there's been only one over seven unders for Seattle, only 34.8 points per game. Dallas and Washington have both gone one and five over under in their game twos. And then you got a trio of teams at one and four over under low scoring results for San Francisco at only 31.6 points per game, Cincinnati at 34.6, and Kansas City, 35.8. All three of those teams, one and four over under in their second game of the season. With that said, I've got one more little tidbit that I want to throw at you guys. It's very, very interesting, and it's a fantastic over situation that applies to three games this week in NFL preseason week two action. This is right out of the database. I was playing around in our database earlier in the week, and I found a situation that since the 2009 season, so we're going on 10 plus years, this situation has gone 16 and one to the over. That means 16 of these situations we have gone over the total. Only one game has gone under. This is what you want to look at in the preseason. NFL teams playing in the second of back-to-back home games against any opponent who's playing in the second of back-to-back road games. The over-under line in these games must be 37.0 or less, and they've gone 16 and one over-under these situations. There are three of these games going this weekend. Let's keep it on the down low. Don't tell a lot of people. But the three games that have qualify in this 16-1 and over-under situation, first off, the Thursday night game. New England is at home against Philadelphia. New England was at home last week. Philadelphia was on the road. The over-under line is 36.0 in this game. We'll be looking to go over the total on Thursday night. Two more games qualify in this fantastic over the total situation on Saturday. Those two games are Tennessee Titans at home against the Seattle Seahawks and finally Baltimore Ravens at home against the Atlanta Falcons. All three of these games are in a 16 and one over under situation. You know which way to go. If you like betting overs, consider the overs in these three games, New England versus Philadelphia on Thursday and then Tennessee versus Seattle and Baltimore versus Atlanta also on Saturday. That will do it for our week two preview and our wrap up of week one. Again, Victor King from playbooksports.com. Join us as we'll have plenty of handicapping selections this weekend in the NFL, always available at our website, playbooksports.com. That'll do it for me. We'll talk to you next week.